Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Beneath the Surface, a free casual little fishing game where we have an option to move our rod down as well as up. Nice. Uh, so at the moment we can lower our rod to a depth of five meters uh, and then it's just a case of waiting for a bite like that. Now we've got one, we put it up. Ooh, a tackle box. It can upgrade your rod. Now that's timely. Now I think it's time for a British slang lesson with Matt. Tackle means knob. Anyway, we can use that to upgrade our line length by five meters. It's going to cost 15 quid and surprise price. That's exactly how much we have. So we'll do that. And now we can extend our rod very deep, very deep, 10 meters deep. So again, we just wait for another bite. Oh, there it is. Pull her up. Put her up. And we have a fish, an Arctic salmon. So we grab that. That gives us, oh, that gave us 50 quid. I'll tell you what then, I might upgrade my hook type to try and catch some better stuff. And um, maybe my reel speed, make it faster. Oh, we've doubled our reel speed. So, oh, look how fast it's going down now. Back down to 10 meters. We're always going to find the rarest stuff at the bottom. Put her up. Ooh, an anchovy. Tastes salty and a bit chovy. Is that the actual spelling of anchovy? Hey, Google, how do you spell anchovy? A N C H. O-V-Y. Oh, fair enough. My mistake. Okay, and that gets us a massive, oh, 20 quid. Anyway, back to fishing. Let's just leave our rod sort of half mast. Oh, this time we got an old boot, a soggy old boot. Can we sell that? Oh, we just got 10 quid for a boot. Okay, I'm upgrading my line length again. Look how pleased we are, how deep we're going. 15 meters. Soon we're going to be fishing to the center of the earth. Oh, we just got a sea sponge. Wait, is that a sea sponge? That looks more like just a sponge. Or maybe a sea cheese. 35 quid. Who's buying that for 35 quid? Anyway, our guy's face when we get a bite, his, his eyes say everything. They say we've got another sea sponge. Anyway, despite our poor pools, we've actually got over 110 quid. So I think I'm going to upgrade my line length twice more. We can go 25 meters deep. There's something about watching numbers get bigger that really excites me. All right, let's see what is actually at the bottom of 25 meter. Another sponge. Okay, well, we go again back down to 25 meters. There we go. There we go. Put her in. She's a big one. I got a good feeling about this one. Oh. I feel like the sea sponge is like the architect of the sea world. Also top right, why are we still zero out of 30? I found loads of fish, like this one, an Arctic salmon. Perhaps it's because I need to upgrade my hook. That's gonna cost 150 quid, but I think it's worth it. I mean, now look at my hook. It looks so much better. Ooh. Anyway, back down the hole it goes. And then we sit at 25 meters waiting for a bite. There it is, pull her in. And what have we got? Ooh, Ugh. <laughs> an ever pregnant guppy. This seems unethical. <laughs> Oh, this game does not know my channel very well. Anyway, I wonder what that's worth, because technically that's two fish, or maybe more. I think I think fish give birth to, like, more than one fish at a time. Oh, look, it's there. What are you doing down there, mate? Oh, oh, no. Did I just do that? Or did it just do... It may have just done... Oh, it's just doing it automatically. Oh, I need to catch more pregnant fish. Come on, reel them up. Let's get some more babies on the... Oh, a radio. Somehow it still works. Okay, well, now we have a radio. Let's put that on and see what's on there. Trust me, I'm an engineer. This subcock could land and see. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I'm gonna go... Oh, that's horrible. Right, let's turn that off and get back to fishing, I guess. And exploiting pregnant sea creatures. All right, I'm gonna upgrade my real speed just so we can get down there a little bit quicker. Because it's not just about going deep. It's about the speed that you can penetrate as well. That's what I read online anyway. Right, anyway, in the background, the sun is actually setting. Another day's gone by and I haven't I haven't found any more pregnant fish. What am I doing? It's just sponges down here. Yes, as the sun rises the next morning, we've got another pregnant fish. This is not unethical. This is business. Look, now there's two pregnant fish and they're both plopping out little babies that I can sell. Oh, isn't this nice? A nice family fishing adventure. Oh, and a third one to add to the pack. Now we are making money and, and sponges sponges, apparently. Uh, but I'm going to spend that money on getting another hook type, the intermediate hook. So our hook looks like this, the peasant amateur hook, but ready when it when we get the intermediate, it looks like this. Wow, what an improvement. Anyway, perhaps now we'll catch even more rarer pregnant fish. Although top right, I've still only caught zero out of 30 fish. Oh, it's another sponge. Cheers, game. Cheers. All right, so we've got another pregnant one. We've got quite a bit of money, actually. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do my line length because the longer anything is always a good thing in my books. So we'll go nice and deep now down to 30 meters and we'll see if we catch anything different. Wait for it. Ooh, an Arctic carp. Carpe diem. Um, and we've actually got enough money to upgrade our line length again. So yeah, may as well go deeper. Why not? So all the way down to 35 meters. Ooh, and we've got a catch. Put her up. What is it? It is another carp. Ooh, and a strange head. Is it a helmet or something? 
I don't know. What is it? Where's it gone? I don't know what happened, but I reckon let's do... I might do my real speed because it's, it's taken a long time to get down there. But uh, yeah, now that number's going up way quicker, which is always a good thing. Look at his hand go. <laughs> gonna catch on fire oh we got a rainbow trout i'm not i'm not that into fish i will say that now I, i'm not a big fish eater um, but i didn't think people actually ate trout do they i don't know have you ever eaten trout let me know in the comments uh, oh but that was some fat cash so let's increase our line length and then we're gonna go all the way down to 40 meters so pull her up that's another cup right so we've added a bit of line length we're down to 45 meters we've also got another pregnant guppy so we are actually raking in the cash at the moment uh we're still just catching cups mainly though but perhaps this time will be better another rainbow trout uh, they're worth 80 quid though so i'm not going to complain too much oh and an anchovy from a far away land. What the hell is on his head? Is that like a key or something? Don't know, but we have some fat cash now. So I reckon let's do our line length three times. We're going down to 60 meters. Come on. Look at our little legs go, by the way. <laughs> Jiggling everywhere. So we're down to 60 meters. Took quite a while for us to get the hook down that deep. We may have to increase the line speed. Um, and the rainbow trail will help us do that because that's another 80 quid. Yeah, I feel like the sun's setting faster than my hook's going down at the moment. I definitely need to increase that. Oh, but it was worth it because we've just got the golden guppy. Hard to say no to that. It looks pregnant as well. So if we... Oh, yeah, look, it's down there. So is it going to give us golden eggs? Plop, there it goes. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're getting loads of cash now. So I reckon real speed up one. So now we can drop down even quicker. Down to 65 meters, which is my new deepest hole I've done. And we found another golden guppy. Yes. Which means we can make our real speed faster. And now when we get a catch, look at our little legs and hands go. All for another golden guppy. We'll add that to the pile. Because now we're 70 meters deep. And we found a, wal a walrus. Oh, is it dead? It's got X's for eyes. So what does a walrus do? Oh, we literally just sold it. Okay. Well, to be honest, I reckon we probably don't want to go down to 70 meters. We want to probably be at about... Nice. Let's see what this is going to get. Surely it's going to be good. Surely. Sure. Oh, all right, we'll try one more time. It's quite hard to get the actual exact number here. I'm doing my best up and down wiggling. Oh, no. Oh, I had it. Oh, I, I had it, but I... Oh. Yes, okay. Right, round two. Come on, there's got to be something good at this level. Oh, come on, game. Right, sod this. I'm spending money on making my line way longer. We're going down to 85 meters. Screw meme numbers. Okay, surely this is going to be good. Surely. Oh, it's another walrus. Okay, so what are they worth? We're on about 70. Oh, 100 quid. Decent. I feel like I really need to increase my line speed, though. This is taking ages to get down. Uh, we definitely pull up pretty fast, though. Like, his hands are really going for it. But, uh, yeah, let's upgrade that again. So we're up to 7 meters a second, which honestly doesn't seem that much quicker. Ooh, but look at this. We found a Sahagin shell. Must have drifted a long way. What's that going to be worth? Oh, that was about 100 quid there which means we can get a deeper line length and find out if there's anything good at 90 meters and there is a rubber duck a programmer's best friend anyway now we're down to 100 meters which surely because it's a nice round number means we're going to get something good right another dead walrus oh and a deep sea jelly you deep sea jealous yeah i am now also i've just realized like all these like all these newborn fish, they're just like, <laughs> where are they going? They're just like flying to the sky. Oh, look, we found a cassette, which means we can change what's on the radio. I mean, I did turn off the radio. Yeah, let's plug that in and see what this is. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. Oh, it's been a while since I've heard that, but um, I don't think I can listen to that for another 10 hours. So we'll, we'll just turn that off again. Oh, and we just found a strange device. Is this part of a machine? I'm guessing it is because it's sat there. Are we going to be doing some like automatic fishing? It's not going to lie, despite my facial expression. Uh, fishing is a little bit tedious. Let's upgrade our length. We're going to 115 meters now. I reckon it won't be long till we're fishing to the center of the earth. Actually, hey Google, how deep is the center of the earth? The distance to the center of the earth is 6,371 kilometers. Okay, looks like we got some more line length upgrades to do then because we are still quite a way off at 120 meters. Oh, but look, I found a device, but that looks like a chimney or something. So that goes right on there. Decent. Aha, look, we found a hatchery tank so that goes on the front what does that do does that give us more more baby fish or do i need to find something to go in oh no what's that 
Oh, it's given us more. It's given us more pregnant fish. Which, by the way, I I sort of I wondered how many fish were like inside a pregnant fish. Turns out, literally hundreds. Because uh, these guys, they have not stopped popping them out. Oh, look, we've just found a vampire toothus. Legends say it comes from hell, but I've heard it's just where the architect started from. Anyway, we're going back down. We are raking in the money now, though. It won't be long till we can afford a bit more line length. Um, but we've just found a strange hat. It fits very nice. Am I gonna wear that? I am wearing it. <laughs> oh, I'd rather wear a hard hat, if I'm honest. But um, I'm going to actually increase my real speed, I think. Let's speed that up a bit. That's well over a 10% increase. Oh, man, you can see the speed. Look at his hand go. And there was just more architect fish down there. Oh, well. Thankfully, our pregnant fish, they are proper shooting their young into the sky. <laughs> They're literally keeping this fishing adventure alive because all I'm getting is deep sea jellyfish. Oh, a gold one just came out of our hatchery. So now we've got four golds, which means loads of fat cash, to be fair. We can... We can upgrade our line length down to 140 meters, so I'll definitely take that. Oh, and another gold one came out. This was the best machine I've ever built. I tell you what, since I'm not really catching anything good, what have we got? No, another deep sea jelly. I'm going to save up for the advanced hook, I reckon. 775 quid. Oh, and we've got it straight away. Oh, so now we've, we've maxed out our hook. We actually have the pro hook. I mean, look how pro that is. Oh, man, it's so hook-like. Let's send it down all the way down to 150 meters. And let's see what we get. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Oh! A Morio. That's a more. Uh, so we've got like 430. If we sell that. Oh, 600. Blimey, that was worth a lot. Okay, well, let's increase our line length. And uh, let's keep going. Check out our horde of pregnant fish, by the way. <laughs> well, it does feel a little bit unethical now. I will give the game that. We're now down to 160 meters. And I think with the pro hook means we can catch pretty much anything. The deeper we go, the rarer the finds. Um, apparently, all I'm finding is blooming architect squid. So we're sort of relying on the, the farm we've got going on down here. <laughs> I thought our hat may have brought us luck. I mean, perhaps it will this time. What are we going to get? Another one of them. Cheers. All right, time to buy some upgrades to go deeper, I think. An extra five meters. I'm sure that will make a difference. Oh, actually, we got another more. Eh? They're worth fat cash. We're up to 800. So let's go deeper again. I love the excitement on our guy's face like when we get a catch. Like he just sat waiting. Then, oh, pull her up. Oh, and it was worth it because we found a lantern fish. So we're on about $500. So what does that go up to? Okay, they're worth about $200, I guess. Oh, which does mean more line upgrades. Oh, wait. And now what? Now the maxed out, it's gone. It's changed to green. So can I buy a different hook now? No. Oh, I just get a really weird sound effect. Oh. Okay, I guess we do a couple of line lengths because now we're going all the way down past the depths of hell to 200 meters. So we got to catch. And what is it? Uh, what? What is that? <laughs> Things are getting strange down there. You're not wrong. <laughs> Is that like an adult toy? I mean, look at the mouth. Um. Anyway, that was worth cash. So I'm going to upgrade my line length once or maybe twice more if I... Yeah, we got, we got enough pregnant fish on the cell, which means our rod is going down all the way to 210. Well, not the rod, just, just the line. The rod stays at surface level. Yeah, and that gives us an ice cube. Wait, what? Is that me inside it? Fishception. Uh, still, someone bought that apparently. Look. <laughs> Look at our fish farm. There's so many pregnant fish. It's not right. The line is down to 215 and we found another one of those weird things. What are they actually worth? So 500 up to seven. Oh, so 250 they're worth. Yeah, there sure are a lot of them down here. I will say that. Let's keep upgrading the line length. I might have to do line speed as well. Yeah, we're currently 10 meters a second, but um, it's taken ages to get our line down there. Oh, we found the sun. <laughs> Wait, what? The sun Has the sun actually disappeared from the background? At least it fetches a good price. Okay, so we're on 700 well, 800. So, ooh, there's a few hundred quid. The sun has now gone from the background, though. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Right, real speed, you're going up. Look how much faster that's going, said no one. Yeah, but we found an arctic turn down there. How did it get down so deep? Well, I mean, if the sun was down there, perhaps we have actually come out the other side of the earth. And, like, we're actually in the sky on, like, in Australia or something. Yeah, I just spent all of that on speed, by the way. Yeah, now look... <laughs> Look at our hands go. But it was worth it because we found an old locket with the description Tiv per eight lud Seven-seven-j wood would have been not good. Ufis would have Yes, you heard it here first, right? So let's grab that. That's probably cash. Yeah, we got we got some more line length. I am worried about the safety of our bloke though. Like he does not look well when he's reeling in. 
<laughs> I just spent 1,500 quid upgrading it again. <laughs> I feel like his head's going to explode. Oh, we've we've just maxed out the line length as well. 250 meters. So this is the very bottom. Oh, it's question, question mark meters. Oh, and now we have to wait. Oh, are we too deep? Can we not catch anything down here? Maybe we just have to be patient. I mean, thankfully, we are still making some fat cash. Thanks to our hatchery pumping out the pregnant fish. <laughs> I don't know how patient the game wants me to be or whether I've actually gone too deep. I mean, it'd be nice if this number worked so I'd know if I've caught everything or not. Tell you what, I'm going to go yeah, up to 249 meters. Let's see what we've got here. we got to catch as soon as we move back there. More old lockets with broken descriptions. Hmm. Now, actually, if I keep going down to 250, then... Oh, it does keep going. Oh, it's there. What? Oh, what? Ah, no. Ah. Oops. I just, I broke everything. Anyway, thankfully reloading the game means we're not dead. Do not worry. We can keep upgrading. We haven't even upgraded our real speed. Oh, now we have. We're maxed out. Well, I guess I'm just going to go fish at each level until I get every single fish. Because uh, now we've got like the master rod. Surely we'll find all the rare ones that we need. Uh, not that I know what I'm looking for because the blooming counter's broken. Well, didn't find too much, but uh, I guess I'm a millionaire now. Peace, love, and ethical fishing. Bye.